there's a lot of risks here. Number one, she has to get there safely. Number two, she has to uh, anticipate that they aren't going to do something stupid in Dragonstone while she's gone. We don't know how long this journey takes. Number three, she has to get in there unnoticed. Number four, she has to assume that there's not going to be anybody else in that sept that recognizes her or potentially recognizes her on the way there. I mean, she has lived in King's Landing for a while. There are Kingsguard there. And then, what number am I on? Five? She has to assume that Allison isn't going to immediately scream and give her away whenever she reveals herself to her. Or she has to assume that after they have a conversation, that Allison does not then keep her there hostage to end this war. To which is my sixth point. Allison is also completely stupid. Why would you let her leave? You could, if you want to end the war, that is how you end the war. You take Rhaenyra hostage and you parlay that into some kind of peace agreement or you kill her and then you have no more claim to the throne bullshit unless Damon starts coming through. To which well, we... you're still in the same place except without Rhaenyra, without as strong a claim to the throne and without a dragon because now Cyrax has no dragon rider. I have True. so many issues with all of this. That being said, this scene was really good. I really scene enjoyed these two actresses being yeah. together. And, <laughs> and once you've said all this, I can't disagree with any of it. <laughs> it's really dumb that she let her leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 